these new pink stockings that match perfectly. Aren't they so cute? Hi guys, welcome to Educating Jenny. I'm Jenny and I'm covering from eating disorder. Hi Jenny, hi. Um, all right, so sorry I didn't post yesterday. I ended up in the ER. It was really fun. Um, basically what happened is I had another probably worse than the last one, fibromyalgia flare-up and endometriosis flare-up at the same time. Um, and I could not for the life of me keep anything down, food, water, pain meds, anything like that. So I called my doctor and she said, if, if you need to go to the emergency room. So I went to the emergency room and they gave me fluids and they gave me something for pain and they gave me nausea stuff and sent me home with some nausea stuff that could help me to keep my meds down, which it has been helping already. So that's really good. So I'm doing much better and just am in a lot of pain. <laughs> this is a really bad one. And my, I'm feeling it the most in my ribs right now, my ribs and my hip. Um, and I wish I could describe this pain to you, but it kind of feels like the ribs are almost like just floating in there and like disconnected or something. It's not, it, they're not, but this is just what it feels like. And that they're like poking at each other and that each rib is like wrapped in some tool that is full of like burning, stabbing pain. And so when it, it feels like that, so they always hurt. And then it feels like they, they're like knocking together. And even though I know they're not, but that's like how, it, I, I wish I could explain what it feels like, but that's the best I can do for you. So, but Thanksgiving is tomorrow and I'm really excited to go and to my mom's for it. And my brother's coming down and I haven't seen him for so long and his wife and kids. So I'm really excited for that. So that's gonna be fun. I just am gonna have to take it really easy because as of right now, it's really hard for me to even move and function. And I'm once again swollen from head to toe. Um, my feet look like pregnant lady feet and like it, I just am in so much pain, so. A little frustrated, but it could be worse. People go through worse. I've been through worse. It's just a tough one. Um, but I'm grateful for doctors. I'm grateful for medications. I'm grateful for prayer and good vibes and everything that you guys send me and support and love and all the things. Like, I'm just feel really blessed to have you guys. Um, I will be vlogging tomorrow, Thanksgiving. Um, so for sure you're going to get a Thanksgiving vlog on Friday and I will um, continue with Vlogmas. I'm not sure if I'll post tomorrow though on Thanksgiving, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. If I do, it'll just be a quick check-in, kind of like this. Um, how long has it been? Oh, three and a half minutes. Okay, let me see if I can find some comments here. You gotta know when to fall down. Know when to fall down. Okay. Tracy Eilers says, parents are supposed to be there to protect their children. They are meant to fill their children's emotional bucket with so much love and support that it builds up their own self-worth to stand up against everything in the world that tries to tear them down. Not only did your abuser not help protect you and, feel, and fill your emotional bucket, he took that bucket and dumped out what little you had. Parents hurting their children is the ultimate betrayal. And every, and every day you see traits of that person in you and it makes it even easier to take that hatred for him and place it on yourself. Everything you are feeling makes complete sense. I do hope and pray that someday you are able to break free from the hold that he has over you. What a very thoughtful comment and I can feel myself welling up inside. Thank you for that. Um, it's true. And, and I mean, and again, like, I'm not trying to invalidate my pain, but 
there's so many people out there where both parents are awful and abusive. And I'm so blessed that I had like, and still have the most wonderful mom in the entire world. Like I, I know that I, along with others in my family would not have survived um, without her. So she did everything she could to protect us and love us and stuff. So yeah, I just, um, but I really appreciate that comment. It's very thoughtful and it makes me feel validated. So thank you for saying those things. I really appreciate that. Um, Kelly, Kelly RN says, hey, beautiful. Hi, girl. Um, only in the last year I have started having repressed memories come forward. I wake up, I wake up often extremely scared with my heart racing. I have two abusers, one blood related and one not. <sighs> it started at three and I just started getting this flood of repressed memories within the last year. You and I are the same age. Whoa. I no longer have contact with these people, but just like you, they control my life right now. I stand here with you, Shani. So much love and light. We've been through so much. We cannot let go now. We cannot let go now. I am so sorry that you have to be going through this. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. But yes, obviously it means that our minds, our psyches are healthy enough to handle it but we're still human beings where it doesn't feel that way, you know? Um, wow, we have a lot in common, my goodness. Sorry you have to be going through this, it's the worst. Uh, oh. Shayla Bryant, so proud of you, your bravery, your strength, and your insight. The way I see it, you have only Shani's blood in your veins. Your blood, your brain, and your face are uniquely yours. All three are beautiful and pure. You are not your abuser. Thank you, Shayla. And also look for something in the mail soon. I love you, girl. Thank you. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any questions. Um... April Godwin, I know you. How do I know you? I feel like I've answered some of your questions before. April Godwin, hey Shani, I've made a couple of comments in the past about things you've done on video that annoyed me. Oh, okay, that's okay. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. Lately though, I've noticed that it's basically my way of staying in denial. Watching you confront things made me terrified to confront things that I really, really need to. So first, I want to apologize for taking my own frustration with myself out on you. And second, thank you because after a couple dark weeks, I had my first therapy session ever today. Without going into too much detail, you are my Colleen Ballinger. And your vlogmas has changed my life. Every day, I was waking up with the first thoughts being, why am I still here? But lately, very every morning, I wake up looking forward to drinking coffee and watching you overshare. <laughs> Please continue to talk about random and important things. Um, and most YouTuber, YouTube refuses to. You are not alone. Thank you for you. Thank you for letting us hear you. Thank you for being pushed. Or thank you for the, being the push that I desperately needed. Mostly though, thank you for using your platform to make a difference. What a beautiful comment, April. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. Like. This is just kind of how you're processing, you know? I mean, there are people that have left comments that are so hurtful and mean, and you can tell that they truly actually hate me. And then there are comments where I'm assuming is the category that you would have been in, where it would be a lot of projecting maybe, um, and not wanting to face your truth, like you said, or like being upset that somebody out there was talking about your deepest, darkest feelings because we're so similar and we're all going through the same things and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, but I appreciate that. I don't hold it against you at all. And I'm just grateful that 
that that I can help you in some way. And that's so sweet what you said about Colleen. <laughs> that breaks my heart. Um, but you're the best, thank you. No worries at all. You're wonderful and you will get through this. And so will I. It just freaking sucks right now. Someone needs to fix that. Anyway, I love you, thank you. Let's see, 10 minutes, let's do a couple more. Trying to look for questions. Sorry guys, this is really boring. You're welcome. <laughs> Gigi and BB says, you have the DNA of Shani. No one else has the DNA of Shani. You are 100% you. No one has the same exact DNA s sequencing as you, and no one ever will. Just like no one else has the same fingerprints as you. I hope that I hope this fact brings you comfort. It does, Gigi. Thank you. You guys are the best. I'm so lucky to have friends like you guys. Like I don't think you realize how much you do for me. Just so I'm just so grateful. Any questions? Sorry, I'm really loopy right now, by the way, so if I keep like, I'm just very loopy right now because I had to take a pain pill. Um, There's a question here, but this is a very long thought out comment, so I'm gonna read it. So, Shakila, Shakila, I've been watching your videos on and off for, um, for years. When I found you, you had about 8,000 subscribers, I think, and I am still in awe about your ability to open up and talk about the real heart stuff. A good friend of mine recently told me about her sexual abuser and about and about the I just lost my place sexual abuser and about the huge relief she had when she found out that it was her step grandfather and not her biological grandfather. Oh, I think it's totally normal and natural to wish that it shouldn't have been someone in your family. Thank you, Shakila. Seeing you go through this hard phase at the moment is really heartbreaking and I feel so sorry for you. I'm so proud of you for going through a hard time like this. You are so strong. You are, you are, that you are still alive is a huge accomplishment, I think. And I'm so grateful that you've had better time with your Ed was, I'm so grateful that you have had a better time where your Ed was almost gone. You will be there again in the future. You are wonderful. You are a wonderful person, no matter how similar you look or what chemical imbalances you share with your abuser. You are such an inspiration and motivation for so many people around the world to keep on fighting and keep on believing in themselves when there seems to be no hope and only darkness. You bring you bring light to us, make us smile and feel less alone in this, in this sometimes creepy world. You are and do so much that he is not. Sometimes when I struggle to say to my, sometimes when I struggle, I say to myself, when Shani can keep going on living and fighting, I can too. God has given you the power you needed for surviving this immensely hard time, and he continues to support you any second, even if you may not feel it in every moment. You are held and loved. You will get through this, and there will be a light again. I know that deep inside because I have, I have seen you struggling intensely so many times, and you always come out of it and grow each time. A little something that I do every day that changes my life for the better is to actually write down three things I'm grateful for. I've heard of this and I feel like I've tried this before, but it was years and years ago. So maybe I'll start doing that again. So just write down three things I'm grateful for, even when it is just something like I'm thankful for having access to clean water or thank you for the home um, where it is dry and warm, even in winter or something like that. It does show me that every dark moment, there still is light and good things in my life. Even when I can't feel and appreciate it that way, I 
appreciated the way I want to in this moment. Sorry, I can't read. I'm very loopy. I'm sorry. Um, if you want, you can feel, if you want to, you can feel hugged. You and your fight means so much to me. Thank you for sharing your story. Keep on fighting. Thank you so much, Shakila, Shakela. What a beautiful comment. And I should start doing that like in every video, saying three things that I'm grateful for for that day. Should we try doing that? Because maybe even saying things out loud, you know? Okay, let's try that. Today, I am grateful for a lot. I'm gonna say today in particular, there's so much to be grateful for. It's hard to pick sometimes. Today, I'm really grateful for steak. <laughs> Danny went and got me a steak and it was delicious and I needed it desperately. I needed the iron. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful that I got to write some cards today and decorate some envelopes and make a new card as well. I'm really thankful for that and I'm really excited to start the giveaway, which I'm going to start by the way, um, either on Thanksgiving or the day after. So it's coming and I'm going to do a card giveaway every day. So stay tuned. Um, and I'm just, I think I'm just feeling, you know what I am grateful for actually? Should I say this? <laughs> Today in particular, I guess. So Danny, um, Danny, I think I can say this. I hope it's not weird to say this. It has to do with money. I don't think, it, I think it's okay. I don't know. I'm very grateful. We're both very grateful. Um, but Danny has been on this set recently that you guys have seen a lot of. I went to visit him a lot. They did a musical. And usually when he works with that particular company, or most particular companies, he's got a rate. Like he's very, um, he's very in high demand in Utah County. Um, everyone wants him. Like he's always having to turn down jobs because he's just that good at what he does. Like he is incredible. In this last shoot, which was the musical, Sherlock the Musical, um, he kind of was doing the job of like four people the whole time. And he did it for half of his rate. <clears throat> kind of as a favor, kind of as like, he just loves those people so much and da da da. And he's sweet like that. Well, his boss came to him today and said, you know what? You did the work of four people. I'm gonna find it in the budget. We are going to pay you your normal rate. So we thought this whole time he was making a certain amount and now he's gonna get double that. So I'm very grateful for that, especially this year because um, I have already been giving money and things to people and now I can give a little bit more. So I'm really grateful for that because there's not much in the world that makes me happier than being able to give to people. Like I sort of want to go find some people on the street and like give them a hundred dollar bill or something. Find someone that's, you know, so. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. I'm going to go, but um, ignore my mess over here, by the way. Isn't it pretty? That should have been the background. That's way better than the tree. This is from reorganizing my office and still not putting things away. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I will see you hopefully tomorrow. I might do a check-in probably actually. I probably, actually tomorrow, can we do like straight up Q&A? Leave me any questions. They can be fun. They can be holiday related. They can be serious. They can be trauma, sexual eating disorder, mental health, whatever you want to ask me, ask me. I'm going to be looking for questions that I have not ever answered before or that I just don't answer very often because there are a lot of questions that I do answer often because I get them so much and that's kind of the only questions I get. So the more unique your question is, whether it's fun or hard or whatever, the more likely I'll choose it. So go ahead and leave questions. I'll do a Q&A tomorrow. I'll just sit down and do a direct upload. Um, so that you can have something 
for tomorrow, which will be Thanksgiving for you. And then I'll be vlogging Thanksgiving and so I'll get back to my daily vlogs on starting Friday. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much and thanks for being patient with me. It's been a rough past day and a half, two days actually. Is it two days? Is that how that time works? No, one day. It's been a rough 24 hours. It's been a rough 24 years, but like it's been a rough couple days. So thanks for being patient with me. I love you guys. You're beautiful. You're worth it. And I'm too. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.